Saki said, it's unfair and absurd that companies would raise costs for consumers due to higher taxes. Wow. It is absolutely unfair. Somebody needs sorry, to pay attention to their economy class or it's math a class. Profit and loss statement. Yeah. So let me read this to you uh, on what she said. This is a uh, Foundation for Economic Education article. Ayn Rand famously quipped, you can uh, avoid reality, but you cannot avoid the consequences of avoiding reality. Let me say that one more time. You can avoid reality, but you cannot avoid the consequences of uh-huh. avoiding reality. At a Monday press conference, Saki was confronted by journalists citing data showing that House Democrats Proposed tax increases would violate President Biden's pledge not to raise taxes on anyone earning less than $400,000. In particular, multiple mm-hmm. studies have shown that the proposed increase in corporate tax rate from 21 to 26 and a half will lead to lower wages for workers and higher consumer prices. Saki responded to the journalist's query by downplaying the potential pass-along costs and simply declaring them immoral. <laughs> there are some who argue that in the past, companies have passed on the cost to consumers, Saki said. We feel that's unfair and absurd that the American people will not stand for that. <laughs> Danielle, thoughts? Oh, I'm sorry. Really? Seriously. No, she really said this. This is not an no, Onion no, article. This no, is a real article. But there's, there's nothing to be said about it. I mean, you, you're <sighs> not... Businesses are not in business to be charities. Yeah. They're 501Cs if they're charities. And that's not that's what China has done to its entire tutoring sector, educational mm-hmm. sector. It has made them all into nonprofits. And lo and behold, what happened to them overnight? They went out of business. Mm-hmm. So for her to operate under that assumption when we have a real-time example of what happens when when the government effectively says you are a not-for-profit institution. It's just it's it's asinine. Sorry, that was probably not a very polite word, but it is just no, it's a lot better than last night, though. I mean, yeah. it is what this it is, is true. Yeah, it's true. But, yes, last night was a bit. Unhinged. Why is she saying these things? You, you gave us a family she, version. Her so. job is to get up there and do a spin job and make the sure. president look good. It's not like she's voicing her own opinion, is she? Or is she? <laughs> I'm speculating okay. this is what the president would like. Well, who's calling her shots? You're correct. It yeah. is definitely her job. Um, mm-hmm. um, unfortunately, Biden couldn't articulate his thoughts if he tried. I didn't say that out loud. But but you're right. It is her job to sell Don't get whatever's shots. being, be okay. whatever the administration is trying to peddle, it's her job to sell. Mm-hmm. It's just like Janet Yellen trying to say that 140 countries or however many countries that she's talking about need to raise the minimum corporate tax. I tell you one thing, though. I don't mind the idea of a minimum corporate tax of a floor because every time Congress gets involved with the tax code, there's one beneficiary and only one beneficiary, and that's the CPA community. Because all they do Mm. is make the damn tax code more complicated, which means you have to pay your CPA more to find the loopholes to get out of paying taxes because that's what companies do. That's what wealthy people do. If you put a floor, if, if you just say it's an alternative minimum tax for a company. If you're Amazon.com and you're making billions and billions yeah. and billions and billions of dollars and you don't pay any taxes, there's something wrong with that. So I'm I'm good with like a flat tax for corporations. What's the, like a flat tax? Ex- exactly. Exactly. What would the floor just, be? Fifteen percent? What's the number? I mean, fifteen percent is, is a very reasonable number, and we'd get a hell of a lot more tax revenue if we did something like that. Mm-hmm. W- wasn't that what the whole idea was that they were trying to? Globally, that's fine. Yeah, but exactly. You're always going to have no, United, no, no, no. United That's Air. a terrible that's idea, buddy. But go- you don't want that to be globally. No, I'm no. saying, but that's what she proposed. No, right? yeah, she I did. But you do right. not want all countries no. in the world to have the same. Well, exact they, won't, they won't all agree. You, yeah. will, you will always. There's no way you want that because there's the no United competition Arab, at that point. I think it was the, the United Arab, you don't want that. Arab, Arab Emirates, but, but it doesn't matter. There are going to be. There are always going to be countries that look at such global moves as great opportunities to take market share and become a tax haven. Period. So you'll never get all countries to agree to it. There will, there will, there's always if, if it's not Dublin, it'll it'll be whoever Dublin's successor is for Americans to put their headquarters. There will always be yeah, the, that's the, good. The, They're smart for not doing that. They're wise for not doing that. It's like right. imagine you're forced to only be with one person. Mm-hmm. Like you're chosen. There's only one person you can be with. You would be miserable. That's you, marriage, though. But no, no, no. You're forced to. Marriage is oh, choice. Oh, gotcha. Right. Okay. You're forced. You don't. You're not forced to get married. You choose. To get married. In yeah, this situation, if everybody's taxes are the same mm-hmm. across the world, you're forced. This is it. You ain't got another Mars to go to or, you know, moon to go to to build a big sh- you know, build a business Sorry, for Elon yourself. Musk. This is it for you, yeah. right? And I mean, if you look at China, they're giving tax breaks to industries that they want to succeed. The semiconductor industry. They're not giving tax breaks to real estate companies at all. But they are giving tax breaks to industries that they want to build 
internally so that they're less reliant on imports. And over here in the United States, we're talking about jacking up the corporate tax rate. We're just going about this the wrong way. We really are going about it the wrong way. And her points are just idiotic. I think Saki missed it. You know, you go deep and you really give everyone the, the depth behind it. But there is things that are just so simple that it was in front of her. Like businesses are not going to do this. I'll give you a tale of two cities, Grubhub and DoorDash. Grubhub contract did not let you price delivery different from pickup or in. So if you want to use Grubhub, your contract said the price had to be the same for everybody. Whereas DoorDash says, well, wait a minute, I'm going to charge you 30 bucks. If you want to put a $3 service fee or something on that, but it's, it's going to be delivered. Great. Well, Two years later, Grubhub is suffering, and nobody wants to work with Grubhub. None of the none of the restaurants want to work with Grubhub. You're killing me. You take thirty percent to deliver. I can't even put a service fee on it because you're control you're controlling my pricing, which is basically what Pisaki right. was We're saying. About price control. DoorDash says you want to put a service fee on there to cover thirty percent. Fine. I just want to I just want to deliver it hot for people that love your your food. DoorDash is. 50% market share. Three years ago, they were 16%. Three years ago, wow. three years ago, Grubhub was 50% market share, and they're 16 today. The two numbers complete are exact, opposite. Complete wow. opposite. Good for them. That, it's it's fantastic for DoorDash, and so it's called n- competing. Only, that's that's, that's great. Right. That's so, I'm all for it. We're supposed to so be competitors not, right. in a capitalistic right. economy. So not Hello? only does Saki not have a calculator, she obviously doesn't have internet access because this has been a no, headline but, but the, story for. But Tom, yeah, this is another weeks. opportunity of divide and conquer, blame, every, divide, pin employer against employee. Exactly. Constantly pin them against each other and tell them it's the employer's fault. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.